Hello my fellow Aldi addict, it's another week. I'm back at Aldi and this week is a different week for our family because we have to travel for my daughter's medical care once again. It's just a follow up so it should be easy and pretty enjoyable but that means less at home meals. So let's get into the story, get some road trip snacks and the few meals that I'm gonna be making this week and then I'll share with you my meal plan and recipes at the end. Okay, I thought these would be a good car snack. High protein, salt and pepper, get the flavors. Love cashews, they're $5.49. I think I've made these a tradition for me to have in the car. I absolutely love these. I like to have them in our little hotel room. Coconut clusters, they're so good. $6.29. I looked out, they're almost out of their dried fruit, but I found the last strawberries. I'll say you'll like these in the car, $3.49. Elsie specifically asked me for packaged chocolate cake for the car, um, so I think these fit the bill. $2.69, better than the $3.48 price. Elsie also asked for just regular potato chips for the car and the hotel room, $2.19. And then on Halloween, we're having a bunch of teens over, so I'm getting ruffled potato chips um, as part of our snack board. $2.19 for those as well. Cheese curls, my son asked me to get these to put in his lunch for a crunch, $1.89. My husband asked for the sour cream and onion, $1.69. He loves these for the car ride. I'm also gonna get these restaurant style tortilla strips for our um, Halloween get together, $4.29. A pack of Oreos, my husband is going to make a peanut butter chocolate pie and this is for the crust, $2.49. Last week we ran out of this and my son was not happy. He loves toast. $1.29. I'm getting more cider. $5.79 for a gallon. And then also I'm getting cauliflower because I'm making cauliflower soup again. Literally one of my favorite things I've made in a very long time. $2.59. Green onion to top our soup with. $0.85. Cents. I don't really want to pay this price, but I want blueberries, $4.29. Okay, and even though I was griping about the price of the blueberries here, it's over a dollar more at my ear. I just checked, so I guess I'll stick with these. I'm getting spinach for not only salads, but um, to top uh, some Asian noodles we're going to make later in the week, $1.49. Mini cucumbers, $1.89 for these as well. I'm getting this salad kit. We are having subs one night from dinner for dinner from Jimmy John's. $2.99 for a salad kit to go with it. I'm also getting radishes as a topper for ramen or for our Asian noodles, $1.49. A dozen eggs just because we're running low and we give one to our dog every day, $1.15 for the dozen. $2.67 for 2% milk. I need heavy cream for both the peanut butter pie, it's $4.69, and for my cauliflower soup, and then also whipped topping for my husband's daily hot chocolate, $2.79. I am making a punch, and I need lemonade for it. This is for our Halloween get together, so I'm getting this lemonade at $1.99. I'm probably gonna get two of them. I need to get two butters, we're running low, and I know my husband's gonna use a lot of it for his pie. And I just don't want to run out, so $3.29 a piece. $3.99 for bacon to top my cauliflower soup with. I'm gonna get, I was gonna get chip dip, but it's all expensive, so no. I need celery for my chicken and dumplings, $1.69. I can't remember why I have jalapenos on the list, but I'm gonna get them 79 cents. My husband said he might clear out our peanut butter supply for his pie, so I need to get more, 3.89. Okay, so Ryan, I'm trusting your suggestion of trying the beef biltong. Um, Ryan Johnson does intermittent fasting on YouTube as well. I keep seeing him buy this, so I'm gonna try it for our, our uh, trip, 3.89. I'm gonna get these pub style pretzels for our Jimmy John's night. We have the salad, we'll have some pretzels, actual Jimmy John's and fruit, $1.99. Haven't bought these in a while and they're so good. We still have so many of these plants. Some look like they're doing better than others. Little cute ones, big ones. Lots of boots have shown up. Super cute ladies winter boots men's winter boots pretty picked over already toddler sets 
Oh, touch screen gloves. My daughter was asking me to get her some of these. So I'm gonna get these for her, $7.99. I really have been enjoying the men's socks that I bought, but they have ladies and men's. I just have big feet, so I prefer the men's. Pullovers, flannel lined uh, pants, electric kettles. I have one that looks just like this. It's not from Aldi, but it's super cute on the counter and it works really well. Pitcher, ceramic canisters, Lazy Susan. That is cute. I like that. $12.99 for the Marble Lazy Susan. Mug, stand mixer. Lots of cute things. Nothing I need. Silicone baking. These are cute. $5.99 for all the baking accessories. Actually. I'm gonna get two of these. I feel like I never have enough spatulas. $1.49. You guys, look, all the cute stuff has arrived. It got here earlier this week. My first time seeing it though. So cute. All the little pink houses and everything. Apron sets. All the pretties. That poor guy broke, but these are super cute candles. $6.99. Well, I think I missed my opportunity for clearance gummy bears. Um, they probably didn't clearance out, but it looks like they sold them all, which is probably good for all these. Sad for me. These are super cute. Uh, I don't need them. I will not be buying them, but they're pretty. I hate buying paper towels. I prefer reusable, but when you have a dog and cats, some things you just don't want to wash. So $7.29, I'm getting more paper towel. I'm making chicken and dumplings after we get back from Baltimore, which means between the dumplings and then homemade biscuits to go with it. If I'm not low on flour right now, I will be after making that meal. So $2.19 for more flour. Making pizza pockets this week and I need red sauce to dip them in and then also for mat sticks on Halloween with our snack plate. So $1.55 for the traditional pasta sauce. We got the birds down here. Stuffed breadsticks, and then still all the stuffed gnocchi. Butter chicken slowly hanging on. Oh, buttermilk biscuits. I was gonna make them homemade, but I think I'm still gonna do that because I love making homemade biscuits and they're so good. But they're here if you don't wanna go through that effort. Gluten-free muffins. Still have the shrimp. Wonton soup, yummy. These quiche look so good to me. This is, I wish, quiche is something I wish I could make at home. No one else in my family would eat it. I love quiche. $4.99 for two of them. Still have some of the smoked mozzarella ravioli, meatballs, veal, strombolis. That's another thing I haven't made in a while, but I love to make stromboli. Um, but it's here if you don't wanna make it. Flounder, different pizzas, mac, lobster mac and cheese, pizza pizzas, Hasselback potatoes, potatoes of Brian still, cheese pizza, waffles, breakfast, oh, they have village and pies. We've had the strawberry rhubarb one before, so good. Never bought the pumpkin or apple. Jack-o-lantern pops, mini pies, yum. I need black mozzarella for my pizza pockets, $1.99. Sharp cheddar, $2.49 a piece, so good. Perfect for the cauliflower soup. Running the liner, shredded cheddar, $3.69. Okay, so I'm gonna get um, three rolls of these crescent rolls. You wrap pepperoni or cheese, whatever you want, in crescent rolls, and then you push them into a shaped pan. I have skulls. I've done ghosts and pumpkins in the past, and you bake them, and then they hold their shape, and they're really cute for Halloween. It's a tradition, and I wasn't gonna make them this year, but my kids revolted, so I'm getting this. I'm gonna make it for them and a few friends that are coming over. $1.95 a piece, three of them. Okay, guacamole for the Halloween get-together, $4.49. 
for our road trip, I'm gonna get a case of original and a case of lemon. They're $3.45 a piece. Love our sparkling waters. I was gonna get fresh green beans, but they looked not very good. So I'm gonna get these to go with our uh, chicken and dumpling dinner. $2.19. This is another road trip tradition. I always love to buy these raisins and hazelnut chocolate bar. I didn't know they're back. I'm so happy. I've looked for this a few times and they've been gone. So yay. Also, that's interesting. Never noticed that one. But these are my favorite. My husband loves them too and I get them every road trip that I've been able to get it. Okay, here is my cart. Any guesses on the total for the week? Let's check out and then we'll go home and see my meal plan. Okay, my total is $151.55. I still have to get a few things at my ear, so let's go there and we'll see my meal plan. Okay, leeks, $319. I need it for my cauliflower soup. This is what I tried getting at Walmart pickup, but they told me they were out. So it says they're $319 each, but last time it was $319 a pound, so we'll see what they say. I know I just bought chips at Aldi, but I want these instead, Halloween chips. I was looking for all these blue corn chips. They didn't have them. Um, they're $2.99, so I'm gonna get these. We'll save the other ones. You guys know we eat tortilla chips regularly. They won't go to waste. They'll just spew in our cupboard a bit. Okay, this week's menu on Sunday, I'm gonna make chicken and dumplings, green beans, homemade mashed potatoes, biscuits. It's a big to-do. I'm guessing next week on Monday, you'll see this as a leftover meal. Monday, we're gonna have Jimmy John's. So I am picking up subs. My kids requested that, but I'm gonna have salad, fruit, and then the pretzels here. On Halloween, I'm making cauliflower soup, and that was gonna be the only thing we had for dinner but my kids were really disappointed I wasn't gonna make pizza pockets like we have in the past so I'm gonna make pizza pockets we're gonna have cauliflower soup and the great thing about the soup is I can get a bunch of snacks out for all of our visitors and if anyone wants soup they can have that too so we're gonna have all the chips the punch random snacks as we have a bunch of teens and tweens over to trick-or-treat with us Honestly, I'm not even sure who's coming. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, hopefully are the only days that we're going to Baltimore to visit LC's medical team. So it'll be out to eat, the snacks, eating on the road. And then Saturday, we will be home and I'm gonna be trying Momofuku noodles. They are a noodle kit based on a popular restaurant, which I've never been to, but it's Asian noodles with sauce. It's a kit, I'm gonna air fry steak and then we will probably have um, broccoli with that too. So this is our meal plan for the week. And if you wanna see how I make pizza pockets, you can check out this old video where I demonstrate it. And you'll also see applesauce, which I will be making on Halloween as well. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao down and ciao. And in case you could hear, my dog Emmy was snoring in the background. She's my lazy dog.